Hello guys, how are you doing? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening from wherever you are watching me. I hope you, are, you guys are well and if you are, you are in Kenya like me, I hope you are keep, keeping it safe because of the floods. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, I am Margarita, a content creator based in Nanyuki, Kenya. I was not able to do uh, a video last week. I was feeling so stressed and tired at the same time. So I took a break. My mom had also visited and you know mothers and their daughters. We had a lot to do together. So I think that also made me uh, take a break. But here I am guys. So how are you doing? Welcome back to my YouTube channel and today we are going to do a lot of cooking. Yes guys, like I had promised uh, in my previous videos. For my new subscribers, thank you for joining the family. Uh, and you, if you are there and you have not subscribed, kindly subscribe to my channel. We are on the road to 500 subscribers and I feel so, so supported. So thank you for that, guys. So let's do uh, our breakfast. Today I want to share ideas, simple ideas on, uh, on how to prepare breakfast for your family. Our first breakfast recipe will be sweet potatoes. So we start by peeling these already cleaned sweet potatoes and cut them into small pieces or chunks. You can opt to cut them into any shape you like. For me, I will do circular shape. It's my favorite. Now we clean and dry them well with a kitchen towel just to make sure that they don't have any dripping water on them. After drying them well, pour vegetable oil of your choice into a pan and let it heat. Carefully place them in small batches. Let them uh, fly until they are golden brown. Keep styling them so that uh, they can get cooked both sides or all sides. And our sweet potatoes are ready. Carefully remove them and press them on a kitchen towel to drain extra oil. Mmm, look 
like that guys our sweet potatoes are ready they look super super delicious guys let's continue uh, and do the same to the second batch Do you find yourself lazy and busy to make samosa laps? If you are like me who, who struggle to make samosa laps, guess what? You are sorted. Loldiga Premium Meat got us. They prepare frozen samosas. Don't miss preparing samosa again. Learn to Loldiga Premium Meat and order yours today. They are located opposite Cooperative, cooperative Bank. Uh, in Nanyuki. So let's prepare mine. Keep flipping each one of them so that they can get cooked both sides. Let them cook until they are golden brown. And our beef samosas are ready. Look at them, guys. Very sweet, delicious. They look so, so yummy, guys. And I tell you, uh, the meat in them, so, so flesh. Carefully remove them and place them in a, on a kitchen towel so that you can drink extra oil. Delicious. You don't have to buy a uh, samosa anymore. You can make them uh, at home at your comfort zone. Look at these guys. Next, let's make pork brown sandwich. I like sandwich because they are very, very easy to make. For ingredients, I'm using bread, pork brown, and margarine. It's simple as that. I don't know about you, but as for me, if bread is not from Broadway's, mm -mm, mm -mm, we prefer Broadway's any day, any time. You can use butter instead of margarine. After placing each uh, pork brown between the two slices of bread, let's put the combination on our sandwich maker.
let's repeat the same process for others as we wait for sandwich, our sandwich to cook. This is one of my family's favorites, especially my kids. They do th they do this by themselves any time, any day. To them, this can be breakfast, lunch, or even lunch. Once they are golden brown, we are going to transfer them to a certain bowl and do the same to the list. And our third uh, breakfast recipe, the simplest of them all, it's lady. Look at those sandwiches. A very, very simple way to make them and prepare them for your family. You can do this at home uh, and let me know how your family felt. Look at them, delicious. Look at them, guys. Breakfast is not complete without any fruit, so let's incomplete some bananas. And now let's make our Kenyan tea, our favorite tea. Our breakfast is ready to serve. All three recipes turned out well. Told you they are very simple to prepare. You should try this at your home. Use step-by-step -step, uh, ideas I have shared and make search for your family. 
don't forget to let, let me know how they turned out. Look at these guys, all cooked. Look at them, all cooked. Very yummy, delicious, very tasty. Look at the samosas, cooked and delicious, guys. So try this at home. Let me serve my family. My hubby and my two daughters have woken up, but my son and my nephew are still asleep. I tell you, they are delicious. They're very, very delicious, especially the samosas. Mm, mm, mm. That shop that I told you, Lol Daiga Premium Meat, they have very, very fresh meat. And the minced meat is very, very tender. The one that they, they cook the samosas with. Just visit them, pick some, and you tell me how it is. All done with breakfast, let's clean the dishes. Stop the way, yeah. Birds jumping and I hear my name. Grasping into a life. Life is happy, but it's so insane. We must merely make a strive. Savannah, I'm coming home. Savannah.
So guys, let us do this laundry that I did yesterday and they did not dry up but they they have dried up today so I want like to do to organize all of them. All these are thrifted clothes that I correct, collected from my, from the market. Uh, they are for my two babies. For my son and my for, for my nephew, we all know how boys boys are and we know, you know, we are in the rainy season. And so I saw a need of adding some few pants and few tops for them. And they are all clean, guys. I cleaned them. I was not able to show you or to share a haul with you. So I just decided to clean them because... Uh, we really needed them so even now i won't be able to show you like what how they look but i'm going to fold and organize with you guys so let's do it guys This is a giveaway. It's a two piece which has animal prints. Very, very cute. It's for a girl. It is written 24M, which I think it's 24 months, but I'm giving it six months to 15 months, guys. There was no way I was leaving this cute two piece that I got when selecting uh, clothes for my boys. So if you have a daughter this age, kindly comment below uh, the word give away. You have to be from around Nanyuki town. Uh, be uh, one of my subscribers. I am giving it for free. Let your baby girl shine. Please comment below.
Hello people, it's uh, in the evening. Good evening from wherever you are watching me. So I want to make dinner for my family. Yes, I want to make a Kenyan beef pilau. Yes, tasty pilau um, known by many. And uh, I also want to make stew uh, for it. Yes, I'm making dinner tonight and there's someone in uh, in my previous video, not the, my previous, previous, previous video who had asked if I can show them how to make pilau. Yes, that was a request and I, and I promised her that I'll make pilau. So if you are there, keep it here so that you can watch and learn. So today's pilau, I'm Pilau, I'm going to use uh, tomatoes, green peas, some onions. Yes, a lot of onions because I love a lot of onions on food. Ginger and garlic. So, some uh, potatoes and then this pre-boiled meat for our pilau. And then for the spices... I'm going to use pilau masala, of course, the queen of the day, uh, pilau uh, tomato paste, sorry, tomato paste, paprika, soy sauce, and of course, some oil. So these are the ingredients that I'm going to use today, tonight, to make dinner. So let's start by adding onions and vegetable oil on our cooking pot. Let them cook until golden brown. Let's add our grated garlic and ginger. Stir them together until you get a beautiful aroma. Now we add our pre-boiled beef and stir well. Then add our soy sauce. Add salt to taste and a generous amount of our pilau masala. Add tomatoes, stir evenly, and let them cook until they release their liquid. You can use breaded ones instead, it works better. Keep stirring just to make sure your tomatoes are all dissolved. This is the color you should achieve, dark brown. We now add our tomato paste, mix well and let it cook for a few minutes before adding your rice. We 
now add our washed uh, lice. Add uh, some uh, pre-boiled water and cover to cook. As our pilau get cooked, let's prepare our stew. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us. How do you prepare your green peas, guys? Let me share one kitchen hack that I have been practicing for quite some time now and it really helps. Put some water to boil. After boiling, remove from fire and keep it aside. Clean your peas well. Put them inside that boiled water. Cover and wait for 5 to 10 minutes. Then after 10 minutes, remove your peas and start cooking. That way, they, they won't lose the nutrients. No, I don't want to waste what's left. And I know we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways To my shadow, to the sun
and our dinner is almost our stew is almost look at that stew delicious and it looks yummy we had to add some soup because our pilau is dry this time loud we won't be having a kachubari because we didn't have like all the ingredients but look at that guys look at that our dinner is ready simple easy idea to cook kenyan pilau at home they look so so delicious yummy 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 so don't miss to uh, prepare uh, such a pilau for your family let me serve my family guys thank you guys for keeping it here thank you for your patience as we cook together hope you have learned something today from me you can prepare this for your family and until my next it's a good bye bye i love you and today being mother's day i want to wish all mothers all sisters all grand grandmothers or great great grandmothers a beautiful amazing mother's day may you live uh, to see your great great grandchildren may you live to be strong to take care of your children may you live long may you be loved by your husband by your children may you be called a blessing to many may you stand firm as a mother live to be the queen that you are Happy Mother's Day.